Hello everyone, welcome to Omega Codex. My name is Sanat. Hope you are all doing fine. Today I thought let's try something different and have some fun with AI. In recent times, there have been a lot happening in the space of AI. Numerous products and apps have come up like Midjourney, ChatGPT, DALI, etc. So let's build something using one of them. Today we'll build our own transcriber to convert audio to text. There are already tools available both paid and free but I thought it would be fun to create your own personal transcriber. So let's get started. Welcome back. Today we will create a transcriber using OpenAI Whisper, a less talked about but quite good general purpose speech recognition model. It is trained on large data set of audio. It enables transcription in multiple languages as well as translations from those languages into English. For transcriptions, it supports various formats like text, JSON and subtitle formats like SRT and VTT. It can be useful for creating subtitles for videos. For example, if you want to post it on YouTube. YouTube does have automatic subtitles, but you always can use this to transcribe it beforehand and add it to your video. We will use OpenAI's API to work with Whisper. The API isn't free and OpenAI does charge 0.6 cents for a minute audio. So $1 can get you more than two and a half hours of audio conversion. We will use this API and create our own transcriber in C Sharp. So let's get our hands dirty. To create our transcriber, we'll do three things. First, we'll create our account on OpenAI. Then we'll create an app key using which we can access the OpenAI API. And then we'll create a console application in .NET to access that OpenAI API. So to start with, first let's go to platform.openai.com. This is where we'll create our account. So we have come to OpenAI platform page where you can also see examples for different types of integrations. You have integration uh, or APIs for GPT, for image generation. The one we will be using is speech to text. So first, we'll sign up. You can either use your email address, any of the email address, or if you want to directly sign in using Google account or Microsoft or Apple account, you can do that as well. So I'll choose my Microsoft account and I'll just sign in and I'll give permissions for OpenAI. Okay, needs my birthday. Okay, so my phone number is verified and okay. So when you register, you get some free credits for APIs, but since this number is associated with my other account, so that's why it's not giving me any free credits. So back to the same screen. Now let's go to view API keys and we have to create a secret API key. So as of now, I don't have a secret API key here. Just click on create new secret key and can give any name. So let's call it test key for now and create the secret key. So it creates a key for you and make sure that you copy it at this point and store it safely because it will not show the key again. So if you lose it, you will have to generate a new API key. So you can just click on this copy button and use any text editor to store this key. So now our open API account is created and we have also created our test key. Now let's come to documentation and getting started. So to work with OpenAI API, we will have to use some libraries. OpenAI does provide libraries in Python and Node.js. And then you have Azure OpenAI libraries provided by Azure. Since OpenAI is also available on Azure, Azure does provide client libraries to work with those services but the same library can also be used to work with OpenAI API endpoints. So Azure OpenAI provides libraries in .NET, JavaScript, Java and Go. There are also community libraries available which are available in pretty varieties of languages and you can check it out. So for this video we will be using the client library for .NET provided by Azure. Now let's go to Visual Studio and create our project. We'll open Visual Studio and we'll create a console app. You could create any other app, a web application, an MVC application, a web API, it's up to you. But for this video, we'll just create a console app. 
and that is enough to demonstrate the capability so let's call it open ai projects let's call it transcriber and i'll call the solution as project let's keep the framework as start and seven and create we have our console project created let's add few packages <coughs> .NET and package first we will add extensions configuration so that we can access the configuration uh, app settings file so the api key which we have generated on the open ai portal we will be putting it in our app settings so that we can load it from the configuration instead of putting directly it in in the code we'll also add dot json package since we have to read from app settings json and meanwhile let's just add our app settings file a json file and let's call it app settings okay we'll do these things and let's have where configuration is equal to new configuration builder dot add json file app settings dot json dot build that should be enough and let's come here and call our settings as open ai and paste our key and save it after that we have to install our open ai client library for dotnet so as of now the package is only available as a pre-release one a stable package is not available yet but it still works so we can copy the install package statement and install it after that we'll add some code now the endpoint which we are going to use is part of speech to text and one thing to note here is that it has a limitation of 25 mb as of now so if you have a bigger audio file you will have to split it into smaller pieces and then you have to use this for transcriptions but if you have a video file then probably you should convert it to mp3 and then uh, run this if the file is more than 25 mb it does support mp3 mp4 mpeg and a few other formats so in our console application what we would do is we will accept a file path and then we'll read the file uh, read the audio file and then we'll push it to the open ai api and get our transcript so we'll accept the file path as an argument to our console application so let's add few code to do that so we'll just check the argument and if it is into zero or if it is null then we just return let's add a few more lines and i'm just extracting the destination path so we'll create a transcription and we'll save it in the same path where from where the file was fetched now to start with let's read the file as a stream and then we will create an open ai client from configuration we will get we'll get our open ai key so this client it accepts the open ai api key there are a few other overloads as well to work with uh, azure open ai so you can have azure key credentials azure token credentials so those options are also available but with open ai api we can pass the key next we will have transcription options as new audio transcription options and in we'll set the audio data as binary data from the stream the audio stream which we created and we want the response format as audio transcription format so we have subtitle format srt ptt we have simple format which is the json format and then we have a verbose json format which is similar to the simple format but it gives more details about uh, the timings of the json as well as the the strength of its property so for now let's call it let's do simple and then as response we will get audio transcription transcription response we will call the client dot get audio transcription now here we have to mention the deployment id so deployment id is whisper one and we'll pass the transcription option that we have to call as audio transcription async we have deployment id and the transcription option now after that we'll get our audio transcription dot file so let's just write the result so irrespective of which format we are selecting for a transcription uh, the response comes in transcription.txt and we can read it from there now let's also write it write all text to the destination file name and 
let's call it in simple creates json so let's make it json and if there is an exception let's just suppress it and let's just come to properties we just set our command line argument and i'll set it to a file path where i have a sample track which i'll be using which is just an extract of one of my earlier videos you can just try this running hey there welcome back to omega codex i am sanal today i have got something interesting lined up for you so this have is the one felt... which i will be transcribing let's just run this so now we have the response which is the simple text and if we come to our file we can see yeah so the the, the, the simple option just creates a text output let's come and change format to srt srt is a common subtitle format let's change our extension and if we run now now it's had it has generated in the subtitle format where you have the timestamps and then you have the text and it does pretty fast uh, pretty fast conversions uh, even on an api so even with a 15 mb file which i tried it hardly took few seconds to get it transcribed and the transcription was pretty good you have other options as well you can even select language if the audio is in a different language then it can transcribe accordingly and there are other features like prompt and temperature which i haven't used but yeah you can always explore by referring to the documentation so that's it with this you have a console app which is your personal transcriber and which takes your file path as an argument and you can always run it through a command line and transcribe your audio file now bear in the mind that if you when you create a new account you get few credits free credits i think it's somewhere around ten dollars or something and you can use that yeah, when you come to your personal account there you have a section of rate limits where you can see the limits for each of the models so if it is chat gpt you have a different rate limit similarly for other data models and if you come to whisper so you have requests per minute is three and request per day is 200 so that's the rate limit with it yes yeah, so if you come to pricing and see the pricing for audio models for whisper it is as i mentioned it's 0 0.006 dollars per minute which is like 0.6 cents for a minute now there is another interesting alternative which also uses whisper for transcription the whisper is a open source project so if you want to install your personal instance you can go to this github project and get the source and install it on your local machine as well the only problem is it actually requires gpu to run those models faster so in a normal laptop or desktop the performance would be really bad so where, where it was taking seconds when you were calling the api it it takes decent amount of time to even transcript a small file but yeah if you have a high-end machine you can always try this or if you have a vm which is available and highly performant then you can use this another option is there is a portal called free subtitles.ai which also uses whisper in the backend and it does allow a decent amount of maximum file size and they have a free version a free option available on the portal but the only restriction is that if you are a free user you are pushed to a queue and if the queue length is long it may take take some amount time to get your transcription so you can just select your file and then just upload if you select auto detect it auto detects your language it can also translate your transcriptions to a different language so we haven't discuss, discussed the translation api we only discussed the transcription api and it works well so i sometimes use this as well for generating uh, transcriptions because this is a freeze option but if the queue is really long then i use the console app which i just showed you to generate a transcription so we can always find a balance so that's it a small fun with open ai and creating transcriptions all right that wraps up our exploration using azure open ai sdk to access open ai whisper with c sharp we have covered from setting up your OpenAI account 
to obtaining the access key and implementing the code in C Sharp for creating transcriptions and subtitles. I hope you found this video informative and helpful in setting up your own transcriber. I would like to hear from you. If you have any questions or comments or if there is any specific topic you would like me to cover in the future videos, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it useful and subscribe to stay updated with more great content. You can find something interesting to watch next here. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.